Last week on Wayne Anderson, Glory Days, the $8,000 cost of the radio station's transmitter saw Orlando's position under threat. The ridiculous price of $8,000 that CJ came up with, Orlando went to try and raise that. He failed on that count as well. Two black marks against him. A vote in Orlando's office clinched the name of the fledgling radio station. And the fourth one is the Radio Classic. How do we vote on that? I'd say the eyes have it. The eyes have it, totally. And a philosophical singer of songs had plenty to think about after another knockback at an advertising audition. In fact, I've got mixed emotions about the whole thing. I mean, it's like a paradox, like an enigma. It may be a grey day at the car park, but it's a sunny day for South Auckland's airwaves. After failing to raise the finance for Radio Classy, Computer Wiz CJ has saved the day with a plan B. It looks like CJ's really saved the day. He's uh, found a transmitter that's got a 500 metre range, so there's a few problems. It's not going to be the coverage we were hoping for. Uh, but on the other hand, it means that the radio station's finally you know, a going concern. So we're just heading out now and we're going to set up everything and I'd say within a week Radio Classy should be up and running. I'm just uh, waiting on CJ now, actually. Hey. Hey, you got everything? Yes, yes, yes. I've got everything for Awesome. You. you sure you want to drive? Yeah. OK. Bye. Let's go. OK. At the musical hub of Manarewa, the team unloads the station equipment in preparation for the big install of Radio Classy. So what we're looking at, Wayne, is um, this is the plan CJ's got. Uh, we've got the desk here. Um, this is your room over there. So. The, the station's going to take up a lot of your house. There's a brown box here, there's a black box here, and there's a computer box. Right. Yeah, technically it looks great. Um, the only thing that came to mind was, because it's about me, it's my radio station, whereabouts am I actually sitting? Where about, whereabouts am I actually situated? Um, well, I think, yeah, he's, he's drawn a pair of um, headphones there and a desk, so that'll be uh, where you'd be sitting, and then if you wanted to uh, stretch your legs or something during a song, mm. you know, while a song was on, you could walk up there. Yeah, yeah you'd go, you know, walk across mm. there and down there, and you'd be in your other room there. To have a radio station running from my home, I mean, um, you know, it's spot on, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> Head headphones, Wayne. Headphones, Try to emphasise. Born free, as free as the wind blows. OK, CJ, are we just about there? Yes. Uh, where, where do you want this, Wayne? It's, it's a pirate station, so we can't really have it on, on the roof. Oh, OK, maybe just on the front step, perhaps, eh? Wayne, the police station's directly across the road. I don't oh, think Oh, right, that's sorry. Um, OK, well, what about... Um, maybe the sunroom out the back there, the far room out there, the sunroom oh, yeah. perhaps? Because, I mean, OK, there's some good artists in there, but it's just, you know, Andy Williams and some of the lesser... Captain and Tennille, Captain isn't Tennille it? Captain and Tennille uh, and Carpenters and that out there, yeah. OK, well, we'll chuck it there. CJ, how much cable have you got? I got just enough. <laughs> Where the hell does this one go? I don't know, you know. You, you tell me, follow the instructions. Yeah, well, the instructions are bloody Chinese. CJ? Hey. Wayne? So we're going to have to take down uh, Live in Las Vegas. Oh, should I break a push pin? Yeah, no, ha hang on, man. You can't do that because there's the system here. Well, They're all in order. See, that's his ninth album. Well, we're going to need an on-air light, Wayne. Yeah, no, I realise that, but you see, that's about his ninth album. You see, like, that's his first one over there. Along Came Jones, 1965. That's his second one. Watch New Pussycat. That's his third one, Atomic Jones. That's his fourth one, and so on. And it just sort of works its way around, so... Well, well where do you want me to put the uh, on-air light then, Wayne? You know, it's essential we have an on-air light. 
Yeah, well, I mean, how can you tell? I mean, there should be a sticker along here saying, on air light. I mean, I'm not a bloody mind reader. Well, it's a, it's a red light, you know? It's an on air light. Well, it's an orange light, as it turns out, but just have, the, have it written across there, you know? Uh, I'll just put it light. down here for now. We'll deal with it later. Well, maybe just screw it to the floor. Well, maybe I'll do that then. What do you reckon? Yeah. With the on-air light issue solved, the installation moves into top gear. Hello, hello. Radio class in calling. There's no signal, Wayne. No signal. I'm looking at some of these knobs here, but... I seem to be turning all of them, but nothing seems to be happening. Here, try this. I think they're in the in, in, in inputs. Here we go. Try oh, okay. that again. Try is that going to make a difference, is it? Well, maybe. CJ, what's going on? Christian, Christian, can you hear me? Can you hear me? No, nothing yet. What's happening out there, CJ? I'm walking out here. Yeah, yeah. Keep going, right? <laughs> Testing. Can you hear me, Christian? Are we gonna are we gonna get a signal soon, CJ? Yeah, soon, don't worry. He's not gonna hear you if you're not. Oh, I'm not particularly though. technical, but I do know a few things about this. I've tried most of the knobs, nothing seems to be bloody oh. happening. Oh. Hello, Christian! I can hear you! We've got a signal! I can hear We've you! I can signal. hear you! Wayne! Radio class is on air! Air! CJ! On air! Come through! Fantastic! Yes! Radio Classy! Fantastic. Radio Classy! Yeah. After the break, Orlando gets a laminating lesson from Faye. You rush something and it's not successful. And the Radio Classy sales team get busy attracting sponsors. Uh, Representative for Wayne Anderson. Have you heard of the local singer, Rain Anderson? Ah, oh, they're men. Yes. Yeah, I know. With all systems go at Radio Classy, an air of positivity prevails as Orlando and Faye prepare the sponsorship packages to be presented to local businesses. So this will be, uh, kind of looks quite professional and I'd like uh, the pitch there. Yeah. $50 for one hour and for two hours it lo looks like a special's on yeah. for 75 And I guess if you're looking at it across 24 hours, 12 times 75 would be... Must be almost oh, five hundred dollars a day, and and Wayne to sing your company name, fifteen bucks. So it sounds like it's win win. So you show. So me you've had one, for one part that opens up. So this looks bloody difficult in itself. Does that look even? Is that how you do it? You got pretty well. Out of ten. Yep. Yes, ten out of ten. Look, it's a little bit uneven there. I'd have to give eight out of ten at the most. I think. Well, I mean, for the first time, right? Yep. First time, well, nine out well. of ten then. Okay. Hey. Excellent. We'll come okay. through. All right. I think Wayne wants to brief us. The business focus shifts from Faye's office to Wayne's as Wayne briefs the team on the upcoming Radio Classy sponsorship drive. It is a very important day because uh, this is uh, getting the radio station off the ground and we're now asking for sponsorship. It's about time the local businesses gave something back. I think it shouldn't just be in one direction. It's about time that money came flowing into Wayne Anderson's account. Mm. Yeah, that's the way I look at it. I've given a lot to Manurewa, Manurewa community in terms of music and providing people entertainment and stuff. Mm. I mean, a lot of people in your position would have walked away from Manurewa when it got a bit more down market, but you've stuck it out, and people of Manurewa are you? Well, it is my hometown, and I've seen the decline of it, but I know what it can be. If people like me and uh, music like I'm promoting uh, come back into it like it was 40 years ago. Hmm. OK, so initially we're not asking for money, but what we are actually asking for is these people's attendance. Uh, they need to turn up um, out there in Orlando's office, which was once my garage. The other thing I should mention too at this stage is you've all got to make sure that you're wearing your name badges when you're out there representing. I'm already wearing mine. Yeah, well, everybody yes, else. I haven't oh. got mine. That's I've, yours, Raymond. Right. Yeah. I've got mine on already. That's yours, yes. my dear. No, yes. one gave me one. 
What about you, Wayne? Right? Well, I don't need one. I mean, everybody knows who I am. <laughs> yes, I'm pretty well respected around Manurewa, pretty well liked, um, you know, pretty popular uh, citizen of uh, Manurewa. I um, get on very well with all the taxi drivers. Uh, get on very well with um, the uh, local dairy owner, Sharma. So who's going to be approaching who? Like who, who do you think is going to be the best at selling the station? And uh, Who would be the best person for selling it? Mm. Well, I would be, of course. Lane and Vigil himself should be the, the, at the forefront. Mm. Mm. Yes. With the station's financial future on the line, the team target local businesses, encouraging them to attend a formal presentation at Orlando's office. Representatives for Wayne Anderson. Have you heard of the local singer, Rain Anderson? Ah, oh, the men. Yes. Yeah, I know. No heavy metal, no rap, no hip hop, none of that satanic rubbish. The ones that can. Thank you very much. Bye bye. Have a very nice day. Bye bye. After a successful day of canvassing by the team, Manurewa's business elite have turned up in force for the sales seminar. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you all for coming to, to this special occasion. And before we begin, I would like to introduce the man behind it all. So put your hands together for Mr. Wayne Anderson, the man behind Radio Classic. <laughs> Radio Classic! You have a seat, Wayne. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. It's a pleasure to have you all gathered here. This is a very important day. This is the day where we launch the new radio station called Radio Classy. Basically, we won't be featuring any of the rubbish that the other radio stations play, like the heavy metal or the um, hip hop or the rap or any of that sort of uh, satanic crap. What we're basically going to be promoting is uh, classic people like Engelbert Humperdinck, Tom Jones, Elvis Presley and myself. So uh, that's basically the theme of the, of the radio station. Now, we're looking for sponsorship and of course I'm pretty popular in Manurewa and I've given a lot to Manurewa, as a lot of people put it, um, I basically put Manurewa on the map in terms of um, music. So it's now time for them to give something back to us. And I feel very confident that they'll be more than willing to um, cough up with uh, the necessary funding that uh, we require. So without any further ado, are there any questions? Just uh, one small point, Wayne, at the, at the, on the sheet here, it's got Wayne Anderson to sing the company name for $15. What exactly does that constitute? It would work basically, basically like this. Canon James! And every time you sing it, it's another $15. Yes. That we pay, I pay you. That's right. What is the coverage of the radio station? The coverage will be from here right through to the furthermost end of South Mall. <coughs> so I'd like to thank you all for coming here once again to um, help me launch this new radio station. Uh, your attendance has been much appreciated. Well, it's a very, very good presentation. Uh, the whole concept of it sounds pretty good, but as far as I'm personally concerned, 500 metres is not the and a satisfactory coverage for anything that I'm going to be able to benefit from. So you're the first person sponsoring this, this new radio station. Yeah, no, I'll be, I'll be glad to join Splendid in. Splendid news, isn't yes. it? <laughs> I'm looking forward to preventing this to my bosses and see what their opinion of it is. And uh, well, I'm pretty confident they should be right. Thank you very much. Thank you, Andy. Yeah. See you later. I'll see you later. Thank you. Thank you very Thank much. You. Yeah, bye, Andy. Bye. See bye. bye. See ya. Bye. Very caring guy. After the break, Wayne's friends start to chase the breaking news for the upcoming launch of Radio Classy. Manurewa High here is just overwhelming Alfriston College, and it's just so one-sided as to be uh, ridiculous. 
and CJ gets some pronunciation lessons. Yeah, not D, not Boond. Boon. 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 That's right, Pat Boon. Pat Boon. With the official launch less than a week away, Wayne prepares the radio classy staff for the big day. OK. So, CJ, yeah. one of the main things I'll be doing on the radio station is to have competitions. We'll be opening the phone lines so the public can ring in. And it's basically educating the public as to what good music is. Now, as you know, I've got um, uh, 6,000 records, and every song I have in existence is listed in these Eastlight folders from A to Z. And say, for example, I bought a record by CJ. It's Ching Ye. Ching. Ching Ye. All right, OK. Uh, what I'd actually do, with You Lost That Loving Feeling, if you, with you singing it, I'd actually put number 20, CJ. Ching Ye. Number 20, Ching Ye. Right. So the competition will basically be, number one, guessing who's actually singing it, and number two, who does the best version of it. So talking about the competition isn't the only thing that I've asked you here for today. In fact, uh, one of the most important reasons I've asked you here today is to actually offer you the job of foreign correspondent. OK. To Radio Classy. How does that sound? Sounds good. So uh, what do I do? Well, first off, you're foreign, which is perfect for the situation. You fit right in there. So basically, what sort of stories will you be doing, CJ? Um... I think, um, like, the news around the world, like, like Panda from China. Right. And maybe news from uh, Australia. Mm-hmm. Because they're close to us. Right. Yeah. Yeah, that's good. Although, um, what I really want you to be doing is, more specifically, the music, something really more international, like the fact that Neil Diamond's new CD has gone to number one on the charts, that sort of thing. Um, it's very important that you can pronounce the names of the songs and the names of the singers. So I'll probably be coaching you a little bit of that direction. For example, try a simple one. What about, uh, how would you pronounce Pat Boone? Pat Boone. Just about right. Boone with an N. B-O-O-N-E. Boone. 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 Boon, yeah. Boon. Boon. Yeah, not D, not booned. Boon. 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 That's right, Pat Boon. Pat Boon. While CJ is personally tutored for his role, roving reporter Christian is scouring local schools for sports news. Testing. One, two, three. Testing. This is Christian Buxler, uh, the sports reporter for Radio Classy, reporting on a sports fixture between Manurewa High School and Alfriston College in, in Rugby Union. And Raywin gets to grips with what's happening in the local community. Is there any news of um, Manurewa? Yes, just a few robberies. One was with a gun and Christina was just saying it's been machetes or knives with the second one. Manurewa High School, hot on attack, and have scored. Best uh, points on the board to Manurewa High School. And so, five, they lead 5-0 on, on the scoreboard. And we're awaiting the conversion. Oh, what is your favourite thing uh, um, living in Manurewa? Well, I like Manurewa's fish and chips here. Yes. The fish and chips just down the road there. Yeah, a very tasty fish. Very tasty cake. fish. Gorgeous. And they got lovely, Gorgeous taste. lovely chicken nibbles. Yes. Yeah. And I love the bakery's uh, apple squares. Yeah. Have you tried them? The apple squares? Oh. They're yummy. And they've got beautiful apple pies with cream on. Oh, that's, that sounds really scrumptious. is just dominating at the moment, but uh, if you get any suggestions where you could see a turnaround and, and, uh, and maybe put some points on the board. I don't know. <laughs> um... And you don't like, uh, you like John Rawls? No, I don't know who that is. Yeah, don't, <laughs> no, yeah. My favourite thing in Imanurewa is uh, helping people 
and make our community safe. And that's a good place, beautiful place to, to stay. Yes, um, Major Ma High here is just overwhelming, our Friston College, and it's just so one-sided as to be uh, ridiculous. This is Christian Boxler signing off from Manurewa High School, sports reporter for Radio Classy. Next week on Wayne Anderson, Glory Days. It's the start of a new era as Radio Classy is launched into the airways of South Auckland and becomes part of New Zealand radio history. Today is the day I'm launching Radio Classy. I've been looking forward to it for about 35 years. I've been thinking about it and organising it for um, just on 30 years. So it really is a very important day. We're actually going to stop the moral and musical decline in Manurewa. It's a very important day indeed. Here, yeah, here. Yeah.